I had to spare you guys the spaghetti ASMR. Oh my god, my belly. I think I ate too fast. And it was all vegan stuff, so like, it was like, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, it smelled like pizza in my kitchen. It was like mushrooms and bell pepper and onions and all the fixins of what a pizza would be, but just in bowl form and meatless. I use this like sausage replacement stuff. Hey, Vanel, how's it going? What's up, Kelly? Oh, awesome. Is it Huvia or Juvia? It's Huvia, right? I should know that because I'm in Fairy Tale. Um, I play Jackal, uh, but I'm a villain, so I don't really care about the heroes. <laughs> cosplay something someday one of these days other than than my like basic mirio hoodie that's just easy all right um where do we leave off on this game i should probably get the game going I'm gonna turn off our rain sounds. I know you guys love it. Let me give you a little, little graceful outro there. And now, now you hear the sounds of the boat. Canada Day. Oh, cool. Have a good interview, Vanille. Get that job. Everyone's getting jobs. That's awesome. Yeah, Demonic, what is this referral business? Do you get something? Like, do you guys get something? Because I don't think I've got a, a referral. I've just been saying, like, hey, you should come hang out. <laughs> but I guess this is kind of my thing. But I see. Maybe they're just trying to source, like, uh like the point of contact. Um, all right, so, hope you guys are having a good, good evening. Where's my phone? Uh, so I know. Oh, we're getting started right about on time. It's about 8.50 here in Dallas. Um, my belly, you guys. Oh, it feels so good in my belly. Mm, I ate too fast. What's up, Tortilla? Beige Bones B-Day and Jopsa's B-Day. Happy birthday, Jopsa and Beige Bone. Happy birthday to you both. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh, my belly. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see where he left off. Yeah. RX Mina, you get it. I'm like, ugh. But then, like, if you make this, like, spaghetti, like, the sauce or the gravy, you know what I mean? Um, all you got to do is just add, like, a grain, right? So you can add, like, like, I had a little bit of rice left over. I put some rice in there, put some nudes, put some uh, vegetable nudes. They're, like, broccoli and spinach noodles. It's weird. Anyway, put them in there. It's good. Oh, you guys, I need to start training on One's Justice too. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. It's more fun to be unprepared. <laughs> What's up, Jason? Oh shit, that's right. Did we clip when that thing came through the door? Look at Ellie's stank face. She does not like this theater. 
Yeah, she hates theater. Ellie, like, just does not enjoy theater. You've learned many impressive things since you joined that squad. <laughs> Thanks, Tech, for the host. Oh, yes, zucchini nudes are good, Carlin Steve. You're right. Look at that. Just like, what's going on in here? I need to zoom. Enhance. Enhance. But, I'm losing a little bit of focus though. No, hang on. Like Ellie's not quite in focus. That's probably fine. It's a good way to start us off. Nah, we need to get more of her mug. <laughs> oh, Jason, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for when someone was gonna share a story of having to deal with uh, kind of self-righteous customers with their masks uh, at the gym that I work out at. Most folks are wearing masks. Everyone in the employees are, but they just instated a you must wear a mask now, um, unless like you're on like a machine or doing something. Oh man, the entitlement, y'all, it's real, it's real. And then people like giving me eyes, like when I have my overhaul mask on, I'm like, bitch, <laughs> better not be looking at me like that. I got friends who died from this, like you, I don't know. I don't know what your relationship is to this virus, but uh, you might want to pull your head out. <laughs> As I cough. <coughs> spaghetti. Corona spaghetti flies out. <sighs> ah, stolen Wi-Fi. The best kind of Wi-Fi, Anya. Yes, that is definitely the face I would make. It's like, I don't want to wear a mask. I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna stealth. I'm gonna stealth you. I'm gonna take you out. <laughs> All right. We got one. Let's get some concessions, get some popcorn. So, I don't know if that's a true hole in the roof, because if it'd be raining, it would be like raining, raining. You know what I mean? So you're the newbie and training rookie news. Hey, thanks for the follow, Mystery Cake. I know the odds of, uh, so I set a, a kind of super high follower goal for the end of the month. If by some strange reason we get like 500 people to follow in addition, I, I don't know. I might like, not might, I will do something cool. I'm thinking like, you do another giveaway or, or something fun or game day or something. But anyway, uh, someone had a, was giving me grief. It's like, dude, you don't have any like, you don't push your, uh, your like, subscriber blah 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 I was like I I don't know dude I don't really know and I'm like well Perhaps. followers are are free and easy to do right so anyway I figured that'd be a good a humble a humble good goal hey Joey well thanks for saying hi Anya um but yeah again tortilla thanks for being from from all of us here I think I speak on for for most of us uh, if not all of us, when I say thanks for dealing with the a-holes that give you crap uh, for feeling like you are infringing upon their personal liberties by having them keep their phlegm and breath 
<clears throat> to themselves in a mask. So, thank you for fielding that. You're a great tank. I have not, Claran. I need to be practicing. But you know what? I'm playing Last of Us 2 instead. <laughs> Sick habit with the brick shit houses. The Seattle Children's Enter. Saddle for less, who could say once more onto the breach? Hide out, running towards my problems, possession, the light of two minds, Encore, Armstrong, and Holly, QED. I kind of want to tell Dina to come in here. I don't like that she's like out there still. Dina. You breathing at least? She is super still. Hey. What kind of gun is that? It's actually kind of cool. <clears throat> oh, it's phasing into the couch. That's why I thought it was like a... Like one of Ash's short rifles from a... Or Ash's short rifle from a Overwatch. Why did that give me another? <clears throat> well, that's... That's something they need to fix. Maybe they didn't assume that you're actually going to go backwards. Chopsa, happy birthday. Go get that karaoke. Love you too, Chopsa. Have a happy, happy birthday. Please be safe out there and enjoy the karaoke. Um, yeah, go party it up. Safely. <laughs> So, okay, Jason, you're saying a girl and her boyfriend came in with no masks after they could go get, if they could go get some for the safety and the customers, and they said, oh, we spent too much money to be told what to do, baby. Baby? Ooh, pissing me off. Yeah, that doesn't apply. Get the fuck out of my store, is what I say. <laughs> but, <clears throat> obviously, I understand the uh, tentativeness to do something like that, but entitlement, entitlement, guys, it really strums a... Uh, strums a string inside of me that just, you know, fills me full of a strange rage. What's going on it's back spooky. here? No way. Are you gonna play more guitar? There's so many guitars, dude. Who would have thought there's so many guitars around? <sighs> A little out of tune. goes away. <clears throat> Whoa, flashback. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, is Henry? This doesn't sound like so. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Does it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, man, at least so cute. I'm gonna start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? Oh no. Is it a dinosaur? Stop no trying to guess. I ain't telling you. Where are we going? All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? I don't know what it's called a litter. <laughs> Mind your step. I got it. Oops. Ah! I knew it. What a bitch, Joel. Joel's so whack. Now we're gonna drown. See what you did, Joel? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What if I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kid. Drown. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this way. The worst. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You got Push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Now she's like soaked. Like, what, what was in her bag? Yeah, come here, take a look. Heavy as hell. See a deer over there? Where? See it? Just through there, look. Yeah. Yeah, chilling. I can see it. Looks like. Ooh, got him. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very <laughs> angry and upset. Now, come on. Uh. I am very angry and upset. <laughs> Down here, though, that's what I want to know. You gotta need a dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Man, everything's so like peaceful and awesome. So just like happy. Love it. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people wild you up. It's hard when they're dicks. The oh, still stands. camp prone. Prone is for three years later, Ellie learns how to prone. Huh? Are we just gonna like pass up whatever that is? Like there's so much that we're, we're just going by. I'm sure it's just stuff, but like. Anyway. See you, Hannah. Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. 
It's over here, though. Guys, we're, like, just going by all kinds of, like, unexplored terrain. New clue! Luke. Luke. Hey, stop it. Man, you are a fast swimmer. Here. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Okay. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yeah. Yes. Those are, which no one? No way! Yes. yes. Come oh, on. Discs. I heard that's a thing. Are you not impressed by that, Ellie? We're looking at it right now. Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! <laughs> Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. <laughs> oh, you guys. Come on. How you gonna... Look how happy young Ellie looks. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur! Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Oh, I can't, I can't post that. I don't want to ruin anything. that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. We go again. We go again. Oh, sorry about that, Beth. Hello. <laughs> sorry you're having a hard week. So go you're the new go again. rookie news. Yes. One more time. This is, like, how I would actually live my life. Thanks for the follow. River Channel Rick. River Chanel Rick. Like, this is its own game. I love this. It is demonic. It is totally the Final Fantasy VII Remake slide. But come on. How could you only do it the one time? Let's go! Ah! What's this? Uh, it's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. A dinosaur book. It's like all adventurous and whatnot, oh, y'all. man. You wanna try it on? I am going to be your oh, hero. You're RX Mina! Thanks for that sub!
I'm not sure I really like it. <laughs> Ellie looks very self-satisfied here. Better back up. But he looks happy too. They both just look oh, happy. Look at those talons. That is a, a velociraptor. Raptor. Velociraptor. Actually, it's a D. Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they call them in this movie I saw. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just a raptor. I'm a bite you. All right, let's see. Is it Dino, Dino kiss? Dino, Dino kiss? I don't know how to pronounce words. Look at all these boxes, Joel, look, boxes. Rolly chair. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, mm. this for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get I, it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's because you're old. Damn. Cruelty. Thy name is Ellie. You rude. Let's make one of these coins. I had one of those. Where it squishes the penny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Compsognathus. Whew. That's a big name for little guys. Yeah, they'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie, too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. Wasn't as good. A stag? Show me that stag. Tiny head. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. Man, come on, Ellie. Hatosaur. I just want the hatosaur. There we go. No, get, I don't want, for once, I don't want my main characters in the shot. I just want, I just want the, Dino. Dino DNA. Ah, ah, there we go. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh. We're getting it, guys. This is it. This is what we came to do for this game. That's what we're here to do, is take cool pictures, live in life, guys. Straight to your feed. Feeding your Twitter feed. All right. Hey, is this going to be a thing? <laughs> Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> Triceratops means three horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. My hat back. I didn't realize we were going to do it on more than one one creature. 
Brachiosaurus. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? What? No. We can do collectibles here too? Oh, cool. What you got there? These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was the little creature thing? I forget. <laughs> the Pokemon? Jerry Lavelle, 80 brains, 80 brawn. So wait, I, I'm experiencing a time paradox because if I have this card, when we go back to, I imagine, the future, how does it make sense? How does it make sense that we found this card three years ago and then it just appears? Oh, thanks, Tech, for continuing that gift sub that you got from Reina. Appreciate you. Um, when a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark Aerobots, Aerobots, and a society of champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in battle, Dr. Stem created a set of new of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal Greyhound, is it Ezio? Like freaking Assassin's Creed? A small town kid known as Nighthawk, the Nighthawk, scours the world for evildoers, always ready to dive back into action. Look how the dog has, has boosters too. Happy to give a shout out, Riri. Ooh, let's look at this mirror. Now, this is something we've been waiting for. What if I just hide Ellie? And then. Oh, it's a. Damn it! Never mind. I thought it was gonna be fun if I could, like, pull back and just have Joel being like, looking at myself in the mirror. Hannah, is it your birthday? It's not today. Isn't it tomorrow? Oh, Friday. My bad. I'm slow on chat. Sorry, y'all. Born on the 3rd of July. Put the hat on. Whatever floats your boat. This does. Floats it all day. Err, Dino with a hat. Dino, give me my hat back. Whoa, Jason, are you for real? Call the police. We don't care. All right. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. Names these scientists. Well, they're dumb. They're actually not. They're they're the, supposed to be the smart Ellie. Can you put it put the hat on? You can leave your hat on. This is the one though. This is the way. Brachiosaurus ate six hundred pounds of plants each day. Ooh, imagine the poops. <laughs> there is one scene where uh, 
As a one of the has said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. Oh man, Joel's just so happy. Yes, this is the hat side quest. Riri. How do I, I need to get my hat on that guy though. Is this one, is this the thing? This is impressive. Oh, we can't miss this area. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. Oh, tech. Thanks for that cheer. Happy Canada Day. And I appreciate you for that resub. Um, I gotta do better about talking about that in the future. <laughs> My streaming pals have mentioned it to me. But uh, that said, I appreciate um, uh, you subscribers out there all the more just because I know I, I don't really like make a, make a fuss over it, but I do sincerely appreciate it. It makes, <clears throat> it makes popping on here regularly, um, you know, more kind of exciting and like, ah, yeah, this is a thing I got to do. I got can't let, can't let my, my subscribers down. <laughs> so thank you again. Um, Parasaurolophus? Parasaurolophus? Pac... Pachycephalosaurus? Pachycephalosaurus. Cephalosaurus. Look how thick this one's skull is. Thanks, Rx Mina! Kinda looks like... Tom. Party! I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Oh, Tommy. That's not Tommy, you dumb. That's a big old face, though. What's this? Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about, the Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. Go in here? Hmm. Guess not. Footprint. I like this relief. I'm bummed if we can't talk about this. There's some stuff I'm, s another hat? Wait a minute. Can we get that hat? Joel, hang on. Damn it, I wanted all the hats. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Ah, there we go. I swear that girl Thanks, me to every damn museum <laughs> in Texas. you dare take it off my birthday my rules <laughs> <laughs> looks good on you wait give me my hat back speaking of birthdays happy birthday beige bomb This is the one I wanted. Looks like a giraffe. 
when oh. I've done it. I see the appeal. Told you. Joel. Extinction. Is this, is this a metaphor? Okay, I have thoughts right now. This is a really sweet moment in this story, but is this whole visiting the museum thing like an analogy for Joel, kind of, or a metaphor, you know what I mean? For when a certain species is done, obviously like from a greater perspective, thinking about Last of Us Part Two with the cordyceps taking over the planet, you know, and like kind of culling a lot of humans off the planet. Is this, is this something speaking to that somehow? You know what I mean? And then to make it even more meta, is it like sort of the, the strata of revenge that we're experiencing right now? That, ah, oh, look at Joel's smile. Um, You guys know where I'm headed with this? Like that kind of feeling of uh, we have, we're sitting here looking at the bones of all these old dinosaurs and how they did things. And like, literally we're, we're, we're unearthing stuff. When we go to a new area and we're like pulling bullets and food and all kinds of crap off the shelf, like we are kind of like archeologists just dusting off the past in order to survive for the future. You know what I mean? Um, and. In a very similar way, these dinosaurs are also trying to survive. Of course, this whole meteor business doesn't help, but maybe that's that is the equivalent for humans in Last of Us Part Two land. Maybe, maybe the Cordyceps is is our meteor. You know what I mean? Anyway, I just get that feeling with the music. And uh, the way it's all kind of shot. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Hey, gum bro, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super fly? What? No. Whoa. Can I, Hannah? Super fly. Tell me another fun. Mm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. <laughs> Took the okay. moon samples inside and smelled them later. You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that... Gagarin? I don't know how Why you Why are you all out of focus, movie, Joel? So. Fair. Anyway, he flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. How many books have you read about this? Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Mm, I don't know. People in your time, they 
That is easy. <laughs> I guess relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. Thank you. Kiddo. Now I get it. Hmm. I like this. I like them sitting around philosophizing. I caught what she said, Death of Tron, talking about uh, the Medea philosophy of the, the, the planet as a suicidal organism. But, like, I think about that with, you know, insects, humanity, our kind of life cycle, how we, you know, another generation comes down and is a little bit different. And it's like meaning of life stuff. Besides, of course, gathering supplies and making sure you have a good supply of ammo. What is the meaning to life? So... <laughs> Oh my god, I was thinking about that, Beige. I was thinking about, how am I going to explain all this to my nephews? They're like, so why didn't you, like, why didn't everyone just, like, quarantine and put on masks and just let the virus die? And I'm like, well, <clears throat> uh, we don't, we, we, oh, yeah. we didn't do it. Where's the steering wheel? <laughs> Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Is this the real one? Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I don't say no. <laughs> Look at her getting all sassy. Let me out, Joel. Wait. No, I don't want to leave yet. But you are fast at drawing, dude. One day. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. Oh my god, you guys. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he says I'll love. He's aching. He's acting very proud of himself. Smuggled fogey. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. Maybe not. Probably not. Farming rotation blows. I don't get a I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self. Talk to Mana about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dean and I found this cool old camps campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Look at her drawn Dina's eyes. Oh, thanks, tech. Trying to tell Kyle you like someone, but he's AFK. Pride 10, a struggle. <laughs> struggle. Man, Ellie, you good artist. Why you scratch out the deer's face? Deer, 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 deer. What is this? Ah, oh, that's what every kid wishes they could do in a museum. But now, hold on just a minute. You're going into space. You're gonna need a helmet. Oh, right. What was I thinking? Oh, she just threw the hat down? The hat was so cool. All right, it's fine. <clears throat> That's the one I want. Oh no, that's the one we want, dude. We want that Apollo. Badass. All right, we'll take, let's see, launch entry suit, Gemini, Mercury. I like this one, this looks badass. Cool. How is 
good smell in here. Like space. And dust. <laughs> like space. It's okay. I kind of want to try this one. Oh yeah, this is the one. But it wouldn't be fair unless we at least tried all of them. Yeah, Apollo looks epic, Clarion. I love it, man. It takes a there's a special spirit to folks that <clears throat> All want to travel space you know it's this place that I mean, there's no oxygen there's nothing that sustains our life out there it just feels like what what business do we have being out there and yet and yet magnificent I have um, one quick story when I was going to University of California Irvine Irvine in my undergrad I there were tickets to go see this uh, astronaut who had just came come back um, I can't remember her name right now, but it was like 2009, so like over 10 years ago, y'all. <sighs> Talk about dinosaur. Um, but there was a astronaut there, and she was doing a, uh, uh, like a panel talking to all the engineering students who wanted to know about space travel and stuff. Um, and then, but they had a few tickets left, and, and there were a couple for art students, and no one wanted them. So I went with a friend, <clears throat> And uh, she was talking about all the devices that, like, happened on the ship, you know, and, like, what she had to do, the daily thing. The questions are pretty rudimentary. Like, well, what, what kind of, what was the technology that you created? Oh, that's really great. Well, oh, yeah. And then, like, well, so what was your, 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 you know, daily thing? And you could just tell, like, she just landed from coming from out outer space. Um, at the end, like, I was kind of waiting for everyone to ask their question. And once people were kind of, like, out of questions to ask, I was like, so I raised my hand <clears throat> and I asked, I was like, so what was it like? Like, what, what, would, what did it feel like up there to be, you know, looking down on us? And she, uh, this big smile went over, across her face and she was like, uh, it's incredible uh, to look down and see this tiny little blue ball to know everything you've ever known in your life is right there. That it's all, and you're just in the silent, silent vacuum of space, but everything you love and care about and adore is this tiny little thing. Um, and I remember her saying, like she started getting emotional, and she'd said, uh, if you don't believe in God going up, you definitely believe in him coming back down. Or her, you know, whatever your version of, of God is. But um, I was like, oh, that's, that's powerful. But it was really cool. I'm glad I asked that question. Um, I'm not the most religious lad but when she said that, everyone got like, was like, oh my God. So leave it to the art student to uh, ask the emotionally driven question. Um, but it was, it was super cool, man. You could just tell she was like full of feels and it was just wanted to go hug her kids. You know what I mean? And go like, just kiss her husband and blah, blah, blah. So anyway. After you. Watch your hand. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Did you look at all these buttons? Last of Us Space Space Edition. All right, I'm gonna share this one just because I don't think it's too too telling. Could you imagine just? <laughs> what? Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it.
close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. Okay. They get attacked by runners. <laughs> this is so badass. Can't, I can't get enough, you guys. It's so sweet. Her imagination's incredible. Joel's outside shaking the shaking the craft, shining the flashlight, trying to make it like a full experience. So much love, dude. So much love. It's hard though, guys. I mean, you played Last of Us 1, you know that the very beginning, all of that love. Hey. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> when it's got no place to go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know that, I know that badge. Hold the phone. Oh, oh, from my collector's edition. Oh, I've got the pin. Oh my God. Joel took me. <laughs> Joel took me there. Oh my God, you guys. I know, Rx Mina. It's beautiful. Naughty Dog, I mean, they did God of War, uh, which we finished on this stream, uh, or on my channel, rather. The relationships, the relationships, I mean, that's really what it's about. Any good theater, any good piece of theater or movie, like, you gotta have those attachments, you know what I mean? It always helps, it helps clarify humanity and understand each other and ourselves that's why i'm i'm sitting here looking at looking at joel and it's like man super dad right but also like there's a lot of pain in there man there's a lot of pain because he you know not to spoil last of us one if you haven't seen if you haven't played that but there's a lot that he feels like he's making up for you know um but all of that love like needs an avenue, like a venue to go to, go, th you know, so otherwise it, it turns inward and, you know, love and hate, it's like right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, Quiet Fawn. It's great. Can I take that helmet? Let me take one more helmet for the road or get my hat. Where'd you get that hat? 
No, I want my hat. It's okay. One of these? Come on, how can you not take a keepsake? Museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? I push you? I want to push you. I want him to go first. Yeah, Joyavi. Get it? I don't think I did. I tried to catch Joel midair. Let me see. I just want to see. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We don't need it. Nice. This is so refreshing, y'all. Just swimming around. What is that? Days are long gone, kiddo. Ah, man. Remember, remember when Joel had to put put Ellie on a on the pallet? I feel like this is a treat for all the. Uh, Last of Us players that like play through the first one and you're like, oh, this is, I'm familiar with this. I know what this is about. Ooh, what's going on down here? Treasure. Oh, running at O2. so fast now forgive my morbid curiosity but I want to know what happens if I just let Ellie stand underneath the water and just like drown like what will the what will the voice line be for Joel where he's like what the hell I told you you were gonna drown <laughs> Me in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, I've read the sequel. Open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if Ellie just drowns. Joel's like, all right, I'm ready. All right. All right. Let's see what happens, y'all. <laughs> Was it? That was horrible. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I just, I just, just curious. It's a video game, y'all. <laughs> game is over. That's when it goes. Uh, the Metal Gear. What is it? Uh. Hey, who's me in there? Was it time? I'll open the door for you. Paradox. Time paradox. 
beautiful guitars pl playing happens. Locking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. The dinosaurs around. <laughs> oh shit. Got our got our equipment back. Break it open, Ellie. I want that merch? What we got? What we got? We just got five pistol rounds. That's all we got. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. I killed for them. Oh, man. You guys, that's actually kind of spooky. We had this, like, beautiful moment, and now it's like... Oh. Don't worry, Beige, I'll get up there. Oh, I was gonna mention, this might be a good time to mention for so many of uh, our friends in this uh, community, in our little Twitch community, are artists. And I know you probably saw Crystal, uh, artist uh, in the stars, tiny, tiny stars. Um, Bongo, Bongo Mirio. Um, I was thinking like we could do every, every like month or so, if you want, we could do a thing and like put up a put up a piece of merch if you want. Streamlabs charges hella money for the thing. Like, um, if you want to make any kind of like profit on it, it has to be more than like twenty bucks, and then even then you're making like a dollar or something. So it's not really profitable for like myself or the artist. But uh, so if we do like a run though, it might be fun just to have the merch though, which is cool. So. If you want, and you guys can come up with any ideas for artistry, um, I'm happy to take it in consideration and maybe put it in the loop, since I guess the the first official Twitch shirt of this channel is Bongo Mirio. <laughs> so uh, I thought that maybe a Beanie would want uh, one. I could do like a <laughs> Best Buy Mirio <laughs> and, and Geek Squad Airy an overhaul walking in uh but i think that would just be funny to a few of us i think like uh, uh anyway anyway we can talk about it just wanted to throw it out there for y'all to think about it um let's see uh sara 80 brains 80 brawn noted paleontologist and geneticist Yi jing worked in secret with a scientist at Spark attempting to splice human and dinosaur genes together using herself as a test subject. She succeeded beyond her wildest expectations. Now, when she feels trapped or endangered, her body transforms into a hybrid dinosaur, the spiked tail of the Stegosaurus, the armor of an Ankylosaurus, and the speed of a Velociraptor. A formidable opponent by any measure, the Society of Champions has one reliable strategy, make her feel calm and safe until danger is afoot. Uh, so, like the Hulk, but neutral villain though. You're a bad? All right. You want to marry Sora? Free the bison. Fuck that. Fuck that. Look at those doggos. Those doggos are like, we are going to eat you, big horn. This guy needed a hug. All right. Man, I'm so slow when I sneak, y'all. It's dark in here. Four soldiers at the gate, the last one cried. Huh. 
bro. This is actually kind of spoof. Women we tortured choked on her own blood. Do this nice and slow. It's that shiny thing. Bottle. Bottle's good. Dude, we are so stealthy. Ellie, did you like forget all of your like pills that we ate? All those supplements? Are they for nothing? Come on, fucker. The kid who ran into the blast, I couldn't stop him. This door kind of fragged. The people, oh, come on. People in the van, we locked them in and doused with gas. Well, you are not pleasant people then. There's no light. I mean, I have a light. Congratulations, by the way, Demonic. It's a big, big achievement. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it'll be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved being bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak for all the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. All right, well, we're gonna keep going. You're gonna make me go through a choke, aren't you? <gasps> Stupid fake animals. Come on now. What did you do? Why do you keep turning on your light, bro? Stop turning on your light. Oh, shit. Bro, get your light. Just some animal. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. <sighs> Man. We gathered all that ammo and stuff. Got me all ready to fight. about
Yes, that boar could have killed her very easily. First things first, we gotta practice a little bit. All right, let's see. We'll go. Uh... Let me see. Uh... Oh, you can pick like one string, y'all. Like if I just do a little bit. That's rad. Let's see, it'd be like, uh, hang on. Wait, where's D? Hey, thanks, Tech. <laughs> Appreciate you. This will be like a... Another turning point Four forks stuck in the road <laughs> Hang on. Let's see. Yeah. Another turning point Stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. Shit, where's E minor? So make the best. Nope. Oh, E minor. My bad. So make the best of this. Test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, it's right. I hope you, hope you have the time of your life. <laughs> That's so fun, you guys, to be accompanied by Ellie. Let me see. So what would be the other one? It'd be like, um... Uh, well, are you done, done me in your bed? I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the... Nope. Fell right through the crack. Now I'm trying to get back Before the cool don't run out I'll be giving it my bestest ah. Nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention <laughs> The touchpad is unforgiving uh. Oop. Reckon it's again my turn to win some more, learn some, but I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. Nope, wait. I'm yours. There's no need to complicate our time. Is short. This is our fate. 
Spending way too long killing runners and bloaters. I'm running out of ammo, that's okay. I'll just use the knife with her and stealth attack everyone. That's how we'll get this game done. I'm a headshot, the infected. So I conserve ammo, not gonna waste a single shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. Oh, that's a Hamilton reference. Did you get it? I'm sure you did. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's fun. Better go see what's up. I've been spending way too long, crouched on the ground, trying to listen, get behind my enemies, kill them before they miss them. Is freaking Dina just chilling out here? Dina. Dina, where'd you go? I don't like that. Oh, I don't know, Tech. Okay, this is bull, because you could see me listening. Is... Dina, God. <clears throat> hey, how hot do I look right now? Pretty hot. How'd you fix it? It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. Excuse me. Good. This guy, Owen, he went AWOL. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. So, the numbers are locations. The TV station we were at? That's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. Yes, Ellie, show that love. That helps. Look. It's not Ellie's. <laughs> it's mine. Last night was... Neighborhood. 
oppressed. Okay. Wait, I wanted to play more music. I was gonna play that Pearl Jam song. Stresses me out, y'all. I'll go get him. You keep tracking him, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait. Give me your hand. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. Immediately pounced. I do. <laughs> Give me that love. <laughs> that was fast. At least freaking teleports. Crest. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. Got it. It's gotta be Tommy. <laughs> Those pills, bro. That's all I'm talking about. Of supplements we got we need 60 okay I bet we'll get that Ooh, already pretty close no this better not be like shit loads of bombs again Dude, almost. Okay, wait, what we got? <laughs> well, let me go this way. Oh, crazy. Wait a minute. What the fuck's over here then? Man, that was like a big explosion or something. Just took that out. That definitely looks like Bakugo is responsible for this. I didn't hear that. I don't like when I'm de when I my hearing isn't working. Hmm. 
Well, if there's a rat here, that's gotta mean like, can't be too bad, right? Yes, dude. Do we have enough? Yes. That is what I'm talking about. See ya, Jokey. What's this? Huh. Boris Legasov, first place. Are we about to get the bow and arrow? Oh, remember all those people who got jacked that were riddled with, with arrows? All right, let's see. That was Boris. Let's see. These are maxed out. Um... Down to do some capacity, bro. How do we increase a rifle's capacity? We put in a bigger cartridge. That, that does it. Oh, I almost missed that. Oh, that's pretty good. Happy birthday, Dad. The best clicker killer in the whole QZ. All right. See, and I would have missed that because I thought I was full and I couldn't grab it. Yeah, I'm supposed to practice Riri, but I'm, I'm not gonna. I mean, I definitely have to tomorrow at least a little bit. I'll feel like a complete lame-o if I don't at least put up a little bit of a fight. But I'll have fun playing with Kellen no matter what. No treats. Not a single treat. Okay. Man, we're really full of everything, aren't we? All right. Uh, probably Clarion. I mean. I'm so bad at the game, I feel like it won't be that entertaining, but, uh, you know. It might be fun. going on in the laundromat. Some cloth. What we got here? They think we're sheep. Bear your fangs. In the Washington Liberation Front. Mm. 
Oh, thanks, Karlinsty. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on here. How do I get up there? Shit. There's too many of these assholes. Hold on, Tommy. Interesting. So here, the sorcerer. 60 brains, 80 brawn. None. A decorated war hero, Sahir was a Kuwaiti combat medic known for his courage under fire and selfless attitude. After saving a mysterious old man from an airstrike, they gifted Sahir a small gold talisman. Much to his surprise, the talisman granted Sahir the ability to manipulate sand. Now Sahir uses his newfound power to shield his allies, creating temporary yet impregnable fortresses out of sand. And when he teams up with Candelabra, deadly shards of glass hero. So this panel right here definitely looks like it's fake and or can be broken open, yeah? I'm not just imagining that. Alright, well, maybe it's maybe it's just busted. Totally gotta. I thought the same thing, demonic. You could be a lot more graceful with your, uh, your breaking of things, but... What we got going on here? <clears throat> Boris. Wolves broke into Fedra HQ and found the enlisted rosters. I've heard they're starting to knock on doors looking for soldiers. I'm not going to be executed in my own town. After things calm down, I'll try to return with a new name. I couldn't find Alfie. I put his food on your back porch. In case I don't come back, give him lots of scratches for me. He always loved you and Sophia. Oh. Oh, all right. Interesting. A lot of good escape points, though. Definitely new area over there. <laughs> Fuck the wolf. <laughs> Clearly Starbucks. What's up, Jane? 
I'm in a, I'm hanging out here in the, what would be post-apocalyptic equivalent of Starbucks, uh, Rustin Coffee. So, oh, I don't want to spoil anything for you, brother. It's good. It's a good game. Um, I'm on a mission of vengeance. Can't really tell you why, because uh, that would spoil just about everything. Um, but yeah, man, it's a... Uh, Right now I'm stalking some fools inside of their their base. Ugh, gross. I'm gonna fall through. Oh. But it is a I enjoy it. It's very cinematic. I'll say it's not as a uh, like I shouldn't say challenging, but it certainly isn't as uh like as difficult as the first Last of Us. Not that the first Last of Us is crazy hard or anything. But, um, man, so many supplies I can't pick up. But the story is exceptional. And the character, character stuff, dude. Naughty Dog's doing it again. Pulling at your heartstrings. Uh, but yeah. Demonic, I've crafted, I have, like, everything I can craft. Other than, I need a melee weapon and I could attach a something sharp to it but I think that's that's all she wrote for for picking up stuff for now uh, looks like we gotta go in the back streets How have you been Jane I retweeted your uh, guess the Smurf uh, thing how did it go did you guess the Smurf properly Oh no! I was hoping you would have uh, knocked them all out. But you said you were gonna do it under 10 minutes. That's, that's pretty bold. I had faith in you though. <laughs> uh oh. Birdos. Birdos are flying away. Well, and whenever you make a statement like that, it's always like, one away! So. That probably was pretty fun to have some some folks coming in there with that that attitude. Okay, now here's a little choke point. Looks like once I come down here, I'm not gonna be able to come back up. So we going in. We hold the perimeter until we hear otherwise. Keep an eye out in case he comes this way. Doggo. I got something. Shit. Let's get in there. Oh, shit, man. Okay, so Do you think this guy's connected to the girl from the school? That'd be a hell of a coincidence if they weren't. I hate this small group. Oh, whoops. I totally missed. I'm going to restart that checkpoint. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you think this guy's connected to the girl from the school? That'd be a hell of a coincidence if they weren't. I hate these small groups. Big groups, it's a straight fight. Here you are. I hear you. Don't. all right? What's wrong? What do you smell? Over here! Sorry. I think it came from that direction. There, there. Dirty. I did him dirty, bro.
We're gonna be all right, guys. We're gonna be all right. I don't see her. Find her, boy. What's the smell, boys? Must be something. Nothing, boys. Silly doggo. Back where we started. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. After her, boys. Might have to do. Got a scent, boys? <laughs> what? I just killed your dog, bro. We're doing good. We're doing good. Super good, y'all. Hmm. Looks like we got how many silent shots left? We got one silent shot. Just gotta gotta be stealth, y'all. Gotta be stealth. Mean to go loud. You're dead, you hear me? Shit. We good, we good, bro. We'll let him come to his own demise. That might be so, so good. Come on, bro. Yeah, 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 shimmy. Shimmy is good. Bro! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Ooh, a hammer? No, I like the axe better. Okay. Oops. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so the doggos, that was, that was new. I'm not used to doggos coming in like a freight train. It's following your scent too. So it looked like the best way to deal with them is to silent kill them. 
Although I feel like there had to have been another way, a better way. Oh my god, I did you all right there, didn't I? Alright, anyway. Well, anyway. Yes, traps. That's a great one, Demonic, of course. I hardly use traps. I'm not usually a trap build kind of guy. But, um... Yeah, I bet that'll help a lot. So did we come down here? Is that where we started? Let's make sure I cleared everything. There's some drawers that I didn't open. Oh, you get mines, Demonic? That's dope. Oh, you mean the mines that they drop. Perhaps after two minutes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, now we can collect some supplies. Go inside the vault. You're good, Riri. You do you. Um, I'm approaching hour two, which is usually kind of my my end time. But I at least want to get a little bit further to see if Tommy, Tommy's up there. There we go. That's what he's saying. Man, all that running. You go up here. Well, I would I'd be doing a big disservice to all of us gamers if I didn't go straight to that big red door. But I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'll instead go to the jewelry store. But it's cool how these fights can always play out. That's what I really enjoy about Last of Us is situationally, it usually changes uh, just how people play. So if I were to be watching one of you guys play, it would just interest me to see how you go about doing the thing. Man, one of the most brutal aspects of this game. Uh, what, what is okay. it? Now what? Um, Maybe I can get in that way. What? Oh, the red door. Yeah, of course. Um, but the brutal aspect of this game was the melee combat. I really enjoyed watching Joel go toe to toe with people, and like now that you have the dodge mechanic, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, RX Mina. It's it's good. It's good. At least I've had a good time. It's not like, again, the most crazy, you know, challenging game, whatever. But um, the story's just fantastic and I don't know, I feel very immersed when I play it. So I'm trying to loot everywhere. That's a brick. Alright. Okay, I think we I think we got everything. Other than whatever it could possibly. Alcohol. Did we do that one? Yeah, we got it there. Okay, cool. Oh man. Untitled Goose Game's great. I have that. I still haven't beaten it actually. I was watching um Sarah, we didn't have to play that. All right, let's see. Only employees beyond this point. <laughs> Ellie is a survivor, yo. Give me some more. Some more stealthy stuff. Maybe if we see another doggo, we'll try to try to stealth him. 
or try to lay a trap. I can show you the goose. <laughs> Holy is Seattle. It's constantly raining. Man, if I close my eyes, I can kind of... Well, I close my eyes, but if I look at this, like mist and the greenery, and I inhale through my nose, I can almost smell Washington. It's my brother lives, one of my brothers. She did grunt, I want to move you. That's going to roll away, though. bicycle repair shop where we can work on our guns it looks like is that playing card oh playing card in the spokes of the bike that's awesome Naledi the youthful 80 brains, 20 brawn, affiliation none. Though she wears baggy robes to cover her numerous burn marks, don't let Naledi's frail gray-haired appearance fool you. After refusing to die alongside her family in an arson attack, her cries for revenge allowed a dark spirit to inhabit her being, bringing a curse disguised as a blessing. While touching any living being, neither can be physically harmed or killed. Infinitely vul vulnerable so long as she is alone, she has teamed up with the mighty Bizarbra. Bizarbra? Bizarbra. <laughs> Whose strength allows her to carry Naledi into battle with those who wronged her in your invulnerable team up. Neutral. Interesting. Boris, I'm so sorry. What those wolves did to Sophia was hor horrifying. Can't help but feel somewhat responsible. I've been getting the town so riled up about standing our ground against the wolves. When she started spray painting over their rules, I didn't discourage her hard enough. I kept it from you. I thought she'd stop. I know you want to retaliate against the wolves. Believe me, I feel the same way, but we can't. Not now. We've got to be smart. Let things cool down. People will be looking for you to how to handle this. You were a leader here after the outbreak. I need you to be a leader again. Let's not let everything we fought for be in vain. Uli. Uli. Give me those parts. speed stability. 
just want damage really for the rifle. How much do I need for damage? Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, I want that. It's a hundred though. Hmm, and we'll probably get some more weapons anyway, so I'll keep saving. a lot of shotgun rounds oh wait no those are pistol rounds I'm a dummy all right building to building is what it's about it looks like um, we'll be going for a couple of hours y'all uh, I think this may be a, uh, a decent place to, to call it for the night. I've been getting up at 5.45 in the morning um, to be able to get my, my workout on. Uh, oh man, it's been, a, it's been hard. I had a really tough session this morning. And uh, oh man, I gotta tell you, like, I had to dig, I had to dig uh, deep to get through it. But um, also I took breaks. In the middle of my workout, I would just stop and be like, all right, I've reached my limit. I need to, I need to take a second, duck out. Uh, so taking breaks when you need it. Um, yeah, it's good. I've also been employing the, as I've said on this stream many times before, the tactical nap is so important y'all um, if you're feeling tired and you've got like that 30 to 45 minutes I know what you're thinking you're saying to yourself I'm gonna be all super sluggish and feel like poo if you do it reliably your body will will absorb that nap like nobody's business anyway yeah crystal so you understand six hours of sleep like that's kind of like I feel you can do four four hours like a night is usually like enough but like at this part of the night you're like it feels like you're at least for me trudging through like jelly um anyway but yes uh we just went two hours straight the last was part two um oh thanks tech very very crying very crying. <laughs> i love you guys too tech um, yeah, it's, a, it's a thing. Like I'm trying to do, to adhere to my own, my own principle of uh, daily practice, daily growth. Um, so taking time to play music every day, taking time to, you know, read the books that I mean to read so I can have the conversations that I want to have, you know, be informed, keep up to date with like current events. Um, it's a lot, dude. Like, I feel like life just sails by so fast um, when, you, when you don't, like, when, when you have a, a schedule. So moments like this where I'm able to play games for a bit um, feels good. Thanks, Rx Mina. You guys, Rx Mina and Tech, you guys have been just showering me with the bits and the love. I appreciate it. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys for Funimation Con. I have, I think I'm doing, I have a few things tomorrow loaded for it. I gotta re-examine my schedule because I also have some auditions too. So I gotta go do that stuff. But anyway, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. Um, and I'm excited to keep pushing on it. So if you guys have a, uh, no, Riri, I go to bed when I want to go to bed. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. No, um, what was it? If you guys, by the way, have PS Plus and you got the uh, Battlefront 2 uh, game, I'm trying to figure out how we can do the, the Ewok, the Ewok Massacre on Endor, where they like, not where the Ewoks get killed, but where they kill the Stormtroopers in the night. I want to figure out how we do that one. Um, anyway, sorry, quiet. Um, but yeah. 
Yes, have a good night, Danny. Uh, tech, Crystal. Oh, and Crystal, I am waiting for my Bongo Mirio uh, tank top. Uh, but they said that because I ordered it and it's my own merch, they're like, yeah, it takes a little bit longer. They don't fulfill it as quickly. I'm like, what? So if like I threw in a couple extra bucks down, you would have got to me faster. Anyway, whatever. But hopefully I'll be sporting Mirio Bongo Cat soon. Um, and I'll try to put, throw up some more designs up there for y'all. Yeah, I know. It's kind of dumb. I was like, stupid. Anyway, um, you guys have a good night. Uh, and I'll See you soon. Funimation Con. Sign up. I'll see you there. I'm, I got a train. One's Justice 2. <laughs> see ya.